I have to admit, the more I watch of this series, the more I'm like, I'm just watching this for it to end. And I'm sorry. It's just, ugh. We don't care about Saitama. You want to see Saitama, but they don't show you enough Saitama. So instead, they keep showing someone who's probably even better, but you're not really there for him. Goru is becoming more of the main character of the story than Saitama is, which kind of sucks and is bad. I have read the manga in the webcomic, and mainly the manga, because the web, well, the web kind of takes forever to update, for God's sakes. Um, it was better. I had a better time reading this in the manga than I did than I am right now watching it. Watching it, it's just, it's becoming boring. Because you have the interesting characters, you have the plot, but it's all over the place for you to really invest into it. You know the Monster Association is dominating the war right now. Turning people into monsters, holding people hostage, and the association is in trouble. Metal Knight has an idea to just blow up the entire place. Because at the end of the day, they only have one hostage, but they care more about their financial structure than they do anything else. So Metal Knight won't well, screw it. Because they're not really for the better of humanity. They're more better for their own fundings and shit. So, okay, whatever. So that gives leaves Child Emperor in a little pinch. Which is ironic, he called Metal Knight acting like a child, even though he himself is the child. The town is too busy playing games with King. Um, we saw Black Luster, but he didn't do much. And it's just the only interesting thing going on is Goru. I'll just call this episode Show Goru now, because let's face it, it's just Goru. And I don't mind Goru, but let's face it, we're not here for Goru. We're here for Saitama. One Punch Man, like last season where, yeah, so it was a Monster of the Week, and you keep you keep playing on that if you want to, but they chose not to, and now it's just boring, in a way, only when it's about Goro, because everybody else will have enough screen time to really care about the characters. You don't. For instance, um, Goro meets the kid again, and the chef, the kid has friends, but they don't treat him right. Goru has that arc as like, everyone keeps calling him the anti-hero, in a way like a stain, in a way, but he's not fighting or putting down heroes just to show real heroes and cut down the fakes, he's only doing it to improve himself and his skills, because he'd rather be on the underdog side on purpose, that's all it really is. So he's not like he has his big purpose or anything like that like Stain does. Or he's this big influence. People actually are scared of Goro. They don't. Because when Stain um, got captured and everything, believe it or not, a lot of people respected Stain. Stain became this new kind of icon. They took him more of an anti hero, even though he was killing heroes. Goro, on the other hand, not so much. Which is interesting. But then again, it shows how ideals can come in different places. So I'm going to make this short because. Nothing really happened, man. Um, we see a bunch of heroes from A class and below surrounding Goro. He's showing off his skills, even though he's injured. So if Goro was in his top 100%, he would have easily beaten these heroes. And that's pretty much it. We only have two episodes left. The, we see the Monster Association underground, and we see how he likes to devour failures. Or those who talk back. But as you still prove and you can be useful. <sighs> See, it's so boring to yawn. I'm yawning. I'm yawning. I usually yawn, but no. That's how bored I am of the series right now. It's such a disappointment, too. One Punch Man was the big thing, the top dog, the thing that everyone was talking about. And now everyone's just saying how disappointing it is. I really wish. They gave it to Studio Bones. I really do. Studio Bones is known for doing amazing fight scenes. One Punch Man would have been perfect for Studio Bones. Instead, they get the JC staff. JC staff can only adapt certain stories right, mainly light novels and stuff like that. Not full out shonen battles, but more other kind of stuff, you know, like Children of the Whales, We Cross, um, you know. Even I and you, I've enjoyed Familiar Zero and stuff of JC Staff. Hell, even High Shore Girl did it. Maybe that stuff requires less action 
and the pacing is better. One Punch Man, not so much. So therefore, J.C. Staff is doing a hard job at it. We need to think about J.C. Staff's not much for sh- high-quality shonen sh- stories. They're not. I will accept that. So that's the weaknesses of J.C. Staff. So what to do with this? Uh, I don't freaking know. Uh, I'll keep telling myself, just two more weeks. Two more weeks in this real world. The, thing, the truth is, this needed more than one season, at least more episodes. This needed at least go on for more than just 12 episodes for people to be satisfied. Because how are they going to wrap this up? It's just not be good. But usually, usually JC Staff does give sequels to anime, especially popular ones. So more likely One Punch Man will have another season. It's just that, are you going to be looking forward to it or not? That's the question. See, anyway, it's like actual video. Very disappointing. It's just, you don't even have to like, comment or subscribe or whatever, man, because this is how bad I feel about this. It's like, it's like you're looking forward to some party or convention or something, and you finally make it there, but it's such a letdown, you know, a bummer, because you set your expectations way too high. And I guess that's the lesson to be learned in life. Don't put too much high expectations to everything. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or not. If you did, you know what to do. Macron out. Have a good one, because this was terrible.